SRAM GX Eagle. Sono qui con Karsten di SRAM che adesso ci mostrerà come eh, sistemare, come fare il setup corretto della trasmissione SRAM GX. So, Karsten, can you show me how to properly set up the drivetrain with the SRAM GX Eagle? Yeah, absolutely. Which, which is the most important things to consider? So, the most, most important things is chain lengths. Yes. The B gap, which is the gap between the cassette and the pulley wheel, we have a special tool for that. Yes. And the housing has to be perfect. So we start with the uh, shifter. Okay. If you, if you install a GX Eagle, always use a new cable. Don't use used ones because a used one will never make it around the corner here. So. Invest two euros and buy a new one, please. A new one, okay. It will help a lot. <laughs> so first of all, your cable should not look like this. Okay. There should be no wires out of the housing. If it's like this, grab your tool. You better cut. And cut it flush. Like, like okay. this. So that it's flush here. Perfect. Then, you should use an aluminum end cap. Aluminum perfect. Is, is perfect. Let's slide on. First step. So aluminum uh, end cap you makes the shifting more precise, is more yeah. uh, it faster in general. It makes more precise and the wires don't come out of the housing. If yes, you have an okay. End cap. okay. So that is pretty important. Um, next step, this is the shifter. New GX shifter? Yes. Never, never ever open a shifter here. No, oh, yes. Never ever. Yes, yes. Yeah. Three millimeter Allen wrench. Open on top. Get your screw out. Like this. And here it is. Here it is. Shift down in the hardest key. All the way down. Yeah. Then insert your cable. Below the spring in the hole. Oh, yes. Slide it through. Lift the spring a little bit with your fingernail. Yes, yes. Put it through. Done. Okay. Put the cover back on. <laughs> Three millimeters. Then you need a T25 to attach it to your handlebar. You have two positions, yes. if you like it. It's up to you to decide which mm -hmm. one. So the shifter is okay. Shifter is okay. Now it's time to put the, the cable inside the hose. Yeah. Uh, what we do first is remove the hose from the reader railer. Okay. In the end here, like this. If you want to, you can lubricate your new wire or your new cable yeah but i would recommend just only use oil no grease no grease just oil just okay oil. or nothing or nothing right. slide it through let's see at the end now Hello. here it is coming here so now with a new cable you the can see is, yeah the end is perfect and it's perfect and it fits and it fits very very well inside the nice. very tight mm -hmm. hole hole inside the derailleur. Put, put your derailleur into the cage lock position. Oh yes, yes, yes. Not like this. Not like this, otherwise it's very, very complicated. Use the cage lock. Yes. Put it in here. It comes around the corner perfectly. Yes. All the way through. Get your hose back in. And then one of the most important steps, this is kind of a, let's say, linkage. Yes. It gives you the right amount of cable pull goes here's a hole in the, in the back goes into the hole yeah and behind the screw yes not here not no. here absolutely yes <clears throat> like this okay so the screw here has we call it the groove where the cable fits in like yes this. so tight it a little bit it's just the first step let's let's tight the cable a little bit so next important one Yes. Chain lengths. To be fair, there's a official SRAM version. 
the official SRAM version tells you big ring, yes, chain ring without really railer, without, and you have like this. So the perfect length is normally like this, and it has an overlap of three or four links. Okay, okay. but. In the real world, it works better if you do it with your in the smallest gear. So, put your chain in the smallest gear like this. Yes. Go. Go to the pulley. Through the derailleur, like this. Undo the cage lock. Okay. Like this. And then you have to need, you need like a little bit tension on the clutch here. Okay. That means like this, like this. A, this is like, if you would like shorten the chain like this, you yes. would have no tension on the clutch. Yes. And the chain would like make noise. So we need a little bit tension like this. Yes. So we do like, like this. Okay. This is the perfect links. Yes. One thing, these chain links are single use only. If you use single it once, use only. If okay. you use it once and you have to open it, please get a new one. Okay. That is okay. very important for safety reasons. You have the chain like this. You close it here. It's pretty hard, like this. Yes. The chain on top. Okay. Like this. Like this. Okay. Hold the rear wheel in place and put pressure on the crank. Like. Okay. So it snaps in. Now it's okay. Perfect. So, so now it's time to adjust the adjust angulation, the, the position of the derailleur. So you need two tools. You need the three millimeter Allen key yes. for the limit screws and the B screw. Yes. And this is our special eagle tool. This is my personal tool. Okay. There's the the line which we use to set up the derailleur correctly, I okay. marked it black. Yes. To have better visibility. Um, first of all, we adjust the lowest gear, which is this screw, the inside one. Yes. So you do it without tension. You just turn the wheel. Yeah. And if you hear nothing, it sounds perfect. And when the pulley wheels are aligned under the cassette, you have no noise, no oh, yes. noise. It's perfect. You do a bad example like this, let's see, do it like this, you can hear it. Yes, yes. It skips like this, that's nothing we want to have, so less tension until it shifts down. No noise, perfect. Perfect. Now we check the cable tension here. It's a little bit low, it can be a little bit more tension on it. Okay. And do the bolt. Pull the pull the cable a little bit. Cable. Not not too much. Yes. A little bit. And tie the, the bolt. Tie the bolt again. So we have tension on it here now. Then we shift up. We will stop around here. First gear works good. If you, if you have some noise while shifting up, you can add some tension with your adjust, adjust the screw here. Turn the screw counterclockwise out. Yes. Like two or three turns. And yes. then check again. Let's see. No noise. So now you're in the biggest ring. Yes. But li this little bit screw is very important. This is the one for the big ring. Your chain should not go into the spokes, yes. because it will kill your ex expensive rear wheel. So, when you shift into the lightest gear, you should feel the limit screw in your shifter. Yes, it's yes. Like you shift against some force. You know? Yes. It's like, and the rear derailleur should not be able to move anymore. If it's like this, let's see, I'll give you, a, give you an example. If it's like this... Yes, just in case no. you have too much free play, I would say. But yeah. so there should be... If the chain is in the lightest gear, there should be no play in the radiator. Yes. 
a little bit, let's see. No, it's still too much. Too much. Getting better. Like this. Yeah. Let's double check again. Yeah, that's the far. A little bit more here. Yeah. Still too much. Yes. This is very important because oh yeah, oh yeah. Wheels are pretty expensive these days. You know. <laughs> See, so the shifting is 80% done, which is my, the most important thing. Is this tool? It's called our B gap adjustment tool. Yeah. And it adjusts the the space between the space between the, the jockey wheel and the cassette. Okay. It's really important. So, if the bike's hanging in the stand, the lightest gear. You attach it here to the jockey wheel, yeah. and we see it's too far away. So release some pressure here to get the cassette all the way to the line, like this. Yes. And this is the perfect setting. Okay. For people who have, it works. This is perfect setting, and the bike stand for a hardtail. If you have a full suspension. And you sit on it, and your bike goes into sack. Your the chain chain will grow, so that means you get tension on the chain, and your uh, your rear rail will move like this. So if you put tension on it, you'll see the rear rail moves like this. It's yes. too far away. Yes. So if you got a full suspension bike, you do the first adjustment in the bike stand, and then put the bike on the ground, sit on it in the lightest gear. Yes. And you and your, or your friend put the tool here and adjust the tool while you're sitting on the bike. Okay, perfect. So now we double check. We have a, let's give it a try. Yeah, but uh, you know the problem is not, it's not this here. Thanks a lot, Karsten. No problem. Very have useful. Fun. Very useful. Grazie.